And on that, I think Revit is already winning. Um, I have very... How can I help? Where should I start? The toughest situation I have to deal with is that all of a sudden, after the CES, our expected order went up to 100,000 units from 3,000. Um, that kind of like creates a chain effect. If you look at what this team has achieved, right, we work on a new conversational operating system powered by agent, uh, that itself is really challenging. We have to build a system within two months that can support up to 100,000 users. But, you know, isn't that the fun part of making a startup, is to overcome all this really hard challenges. I acknowledge that we probably doesn't live uh, up to the hype for the first generation because people uh, are really think that and hope that this will do a lot of more things than four apps. Uh, but now I'm very happy to say that there are actually a lot of things your R1 can do while your $1,000 smartphone probably cannot. Uh, for example, with Playground, you can just ask, say, hey, go to Amazon, order me a 12 pack Diet Coke, deliver, deliver to my uh, home, deliver to my office address. Uh, you know, then you don't need to worry about anything. You don't need to look at the interface or touch buttons or anything, and it will just finish the entire task for you. And I have to remind you, all this stuff uh, happened just within six months, which is crazy. 2025, with now the doubt, it's going to be a year of agent. You're basically just sharing your intention to this agent. And you don't need to worry about which button to click, you don't need to worry about which software that you need to learn. The agent will automatically figure it by itself and give you the result. Being a startup, we have our very unique positions. We actually developed the entire infrastructure to make all this agent system work with the best models out there to be able to be used by end user directly by talking to R1. It's all going to be human interacting directly with AI, um, not only language models, but agent as well. When we decided to become a startup, when, when founders become founders, they first have to, to accept that your winning rate is less than 1%. So uh, that's the odds we are living in. But you have to see from history who's leading the wave, right? Who's innovating and pointing uh, a flashlight to the future direction. And on that, I think Rabbit is already winning.